Thank you God because you God, you are our God and our King. You are our peace. You are our strength. You are our arms. You are our mouth. Let us speak what you want us to speak. May your name be glorified. In the name of Jesus Christ. We pray and believe. Amen. Amen. I'm going to go a little bit slower. Because I'm going to go back here uh, tomorrow. But I want to teach you something. We're going to share and talk about how can you know what you are called for. And how can you reach what you are called for. The first thing that we show you or we uh, tell you uh, what you are called for is to do what you love to do. It may be difficult but you love it. It means you are able, you can do it. Some other people can see it very tough. But to you, it will be a little bit easy. That is yours. Can you say amen? There are some people that really find math very difficult to them. To find an answer to one plus one is a big challenge. But another person, when that person wakes up, and the person is going to solve it without even thinking that much. That, that means that, he, that person was created for that. I was working with a Caucasian lady. We were uh, planning, uh, uh, preparing what we were going to talk about. And she, gave me, she told me, I'm going to give you the paper, a piece of paper. But I don't want the camera to see me. And she told me that she hates camera. I love camera. Praise be to God. 
Each and everyone has a, a place you where they fit. You, uh, you find the cameras to, protect, to capture you. And another one is going to, to uh, hide from the camera because that person doesn't want to be seen. Because the camera isn't, isn't meant for those people. Do the things that you love. And after you do the things that you love, you're going to do them well. Can you say amen? There's a lot of people that, they, that find hard to stand in front of people. But to others, when they see a crowd of people, that's when the anointing of speech comes. Because that's where they belong. Can you say amen? In your life, ask God always what did you create me for there's no person who does not have somewhere where they fit there is something that God has created you for and it's just you who can do that there's no one else who can do that there's no competition that you can go to Say amen. People can imitate you, but they cannot be you. There is a place where you are. Because people do not have self confidence. No, no. They tend to go according to what people, other people have called them. They tend to go according to no, the background. No, and when they are going to do something, and they say, like, oh, I, I'm from Rupandes. I was born on a mountain without a hospital. I think these things are not mine. Those are the weakness. That is the weakness that the does not come from you. Instead, it takes you back to the background and then you bring them to the table and it limits you. Can you say amen? But once you've expanded your thoughts and you know how big you are in God, Hallelujah. There's you that we see with our own eyes. And there's you in God. And there is you in people. Let me repeat this. I want to teach. There's you that you know yourself. And there's you that other people know. And there is also something about you that God knows only. Let me tell you this. Read the Bible and love the Bible. And after you love the Bible, understand the Bible. To listen and understanding. The Bible says uh, Genesis 1 26. The Bible says uh, let us create a human being in our image and the, um, you, uh, a husband and wife and that's how he created them no, no, you watch and, and our background back here, it says that uh, uh, women do not have a no, say and they accept that they cannot say anything and they classify Where themselves uh, because of a uh, place where the men have put them they take them away from that spot where God said let us create a human in English it says well, make a man in our image Men uh, uh, Men uh, uh, there's three th three letters M A N. Imana uh, no uh, they say uh, uh, in front of men they added a W O which says human a uh, woman and they say like he is a man who has a a, a, a bearing a, a womb. The W O M A N. It's W O M A N. But for Shinda by Husano Mugabo Baravan when the womb and the men be so no mugore no mugabo baha in Divya. It's like they started saying like a womb and then a man says like a man 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 man. Can you clap for the Lord? Which means what a man can do a woman can also do it. 
The only difference is, is this. Ni womb. It's womb in that. Mukini chonga la mwana ni female and ni female and male. Um, in, in English they say like a new kigaboni kigoni. Ni fetus iwash is only fit by female na male ni fetus iwonge yo kodi male ka ni female. They just the features that they added fee and male. Aba gore ni mokoma ni asha mosomes. And woman and man. Let me so talk so to the Lord. What I want to explain here is understanding. It's just cool. you you know, after you understand and you figure what you who or you who you are. Nothing will limit you. You can limit yourself. But in the name of Jesus, you are a servant. You are someone who is for the Lord. The one thing that you need is this. You don't need a lot of things. Let me tell you this. We have an issue of these people who are want to do something. And they say like money. You don't need the money. No, can you mafarang? You don't need money. For what? People do say like I want to do this but I don't have money. The reason why you don't have money it's because you don't have something that you're going to do. What, what is God going to give you money for? Even the, a little bit of money that God has given you you don't give. You give God, God is not full, a fool to give you uh, money if you don't have anything to do with that. Why you are asked to do is this. Praise be to God. People have this issue. They say like I can do this thing. But I don't have money. And the second I don't have people who can support me on this. How are we going to support you if you don't have something that you're going to do? One person called me. So like I need to, I need you to help me. And I asked, what do you want me to help? I was thinking maybe that person was going to ask me for money or some, some service. So like I have so many books in my, my, my head. I want you to help me with this. And you have books in your head. And I thought like when he when he told me that he had books in, in uh, he had he had a lot of books. I thought like he had books and he wanted me to help him or upload them on Amazon or sell them on Amazon. But he said he had the books in his head. How can I help that person? Do you think those books exist? I met with another Caucasian young man. And then I asked him, where do you work? And he said, I am busy nowadays. Uh, there's a business that I have in my mind. That I am going to start. And then I said, like, you, because you are doing nothing. Because you are just thinking. Thinking without action means like it's just thoughts. Uh -uh. What God wants is you do not need people. You do not need money. What you need is to know what you are supposed to do. And I'm going to give you what you are supposed to do. God is going to give you what you are supposed to do. But first know what you want to do. Can you say amen? We have so many people who, who talk where they are chai. sitting and what thinking about what they are sitting and they, sitting and they want to be blessed where they are sitting and, they say, like, and then they say like they weren't supported. What are we going to support you You don't even know where you are coming from and where you are heading to. Can you say amen? And what is vision? Where there is vision and there is a, a clear mission, God gives money and God will bring people to support. Can we clap for our hands for the Lord? If you have a clear mission and you have clear acts, actions, 
God is going to finance your God is going to finance your project you don't have to struggle just make the fact that show so God that there is something that you can do hallelujah right here where I'm sending it's a testimony God I started a church while I was working in a restaurant they were paying me a hundred dollars uh, do you think I, I would I have a parish in that amount of money? And then I just started to uh, play drums. Uh, where I was uh, fellowship, you we were fellowship. When it was raining, I would uh, go a little bit aside. Uh, the one Christian came, they were seeing me standing in the muddy paddies. Uh, 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 one man came in the church and the person found me having just seven members in my church. I have all the courage in the world. All the courage in the world and the Holy Spirit of God was, on, was upon me. And when we went outside, he took me to the restaurant. It was in 2008. And he said, like, I really like you. And I asked him, why did you like me? I saw the courage that you have without having even touched the If you can find people in the church, you can do miracles. Because of that, I loved you. Can you clap the, uh, uh, your hands for the Lord? that man then I asked the man do you know my vision I'm going to build a church here and it's going to be a big church I'm going to go to America and I'm going to have another church uh, whatever I would, all the things that I would do we were in the restaurant I uh, grabbed a napkin I, I took a pen that I had I, I started to write my vision on the paper tower and, and I showed him and I said like uh, if, I, if I, were, I wasn't a Christian if you weren't a Christian if I wasn't a Christian I would call you uh, uh, mad foolish, foolish. But because I'm a Christian, from today, I'm going to be a member of your church. Can you clap the Lord, your hands for the Lord? He is the bishop of, uh, of my church in Kenya. His name is Mukaya. I've never I, I didn't get I didn't to meet with him anywhere. I used to have courage to do things without having to do without having to do just the calling and the, to rejoice for the Lord. That definition other that you need to speak about who you are. No. Uh, people do say like, oh, I'll be cold. You don't need to say that you are cold. You just, you so just do actions and then we are going to you know that you are cold. You don't need to see a definition of how you were cold. Just serve, show us actions and we go to accept. You have to know what you were called for. Praise be to Jesus. Can you say amen? How are you going to know what you were created for what you love the thing that you love that is the thing that God has called you some of the times people do not understand this you do things and the people you are understanding you are understanding it with God and you understand it together with God hallelujah let me tell you one thing that I got to understand because we do work in the light of God we do work things and and we start thinking about what other people think about it. Oh, Musi Musinga. Do you know Musinga? Yes, sir. You say like, okay, do you uh, think what, what are the Banyamurenge, Banyaranda, and uh, Burundi and people no, no. going to say? Or what are the implications people going to do? And then, and then I put the, my burden aside and so that I can please my, my surrounding and then I, I start, I start th saying like if I do those things they say, they say it's a pride I want to do why don't I do it for the sake of, of God because I see that I fit there can, can you say amen Recently I went to Indiana. 
I did the math and I, I realized I, I've been there for 10 years. And then I asked God, God, I'm here for 10 years now. I, I, I know that I've had an impact to my community. What is the impact that I've made in, American, in, in, in the American people? I realized I didn't do anything. I started praying to God about it. Let me tell you about one thing that I did. I, I went to buy a house in 2014. They said like, okay, bring, bring the credit score. I didn't even know what credit score was. I was, I was thinking it's a company or anything. No, no, go and get out of the score. And then they, they say credit, and then they say score. I'm like, what is that? So it's like, what is that? I called my Caucasian friend and said, I, I wanted to buy a house, and they asked me for the credit score. That was a non credit no, you to go get a credit card. And, and then I said, like, how, I asked him, well, how, how can I have the credit score? And he said, you need to have a credit card. And then I had a visa, like a debit card. I said, like, oh, I have 10,000 on my debit card. I said, this is the credit card. And he laughed, he laughed and said, like, are you crazy? And then he explained to me, that is the debit card. You need to have a credit card. And then he explained to me, that is the debit card. You need to have a credit card. And then I went back and learned about it. I learned about it. I started teaching about that to my, to my members. I started bringing Caucasian people to come and teach them about that. In Indiana, in, 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 in Indiana, a lot of people have bought houses. Can you clap your hands for the Lord? Just that Caucasian friend of mine told me, he, now, now he has bought about, uh, uh, houses for about 20 people. A, a young man that he taught in my church. He, he has about 60 people to buy houses. And then I, I asked myself, what am I doing with this community of America? And the Holy Spirit revealed this to me. And he taught me the reason why you did not do and have an impact in America. In the book of Matthew, the Bible says, how can you light a, a candle and put, it, uh, put, put the basket above it? And how can you think that it's going to light up for the house? And I asked God, what can I do then? I went to the TV. They say like, okay, you can sign a contract. <laughs> say, oh, you need to pay 30,000. <laughs> I asked them to give me a discount. <laughs> they say, we're going to remove 4,000. <laughs> You're going to give us 26,000. <laughs> I say, bring the contract. I'm going <laughs> to sign it. I signed uh, <laughs> about the contract. <laughs> I had zero. I didn't have any money in my, my zero. pocket. I didn't have number man, it me. And I, I just stood on that one saying like, yes, <laughs> the Lord is <laughs> pleased <laughs> with us. What we are doing, I don't want anybody to, pray, to praise me. The reason why I did that was, let me tell you the secret. Here in America, we have three types of communities. The first one is the, for the Caucasian people. The second one is for the black. And the third is for the immigrants. All those three communities, they have uh, different challenges. The challenge of immigrant people, it's just the fear. And the, the poor, they, they are limited English. When they start speaking and they find they can't speak a good English, they say like, okay, let me just leave it. This is not me. I don't want to do this thing that they they go to jail. And they fear to do that they without anyone chasing them. They say like, okay, I'm just going to work in Amazon company. I don't want to do anything. I'm going to work in a company. I don't want to do anything. Challenge your diversity. It's just the diversity challenge. The challenge of, our, of our black people, our American black, they are living in the past. 
there's war in the Congo right now. If I, if I fail to pay my bill, can I say that President Kisekedi has a, has a say on that? If I fail to perform my duty at work, uh, my dad has, has any just blame it on you do not bring uh, the issues of Congo and can Congo you say to the amen table. say amen a lot of people bring their past and they put it in the table of the present and then the Americans the Caucasian Americans they are spoiled uh, but they, they are kind of uh, uh, spoiled all their like, they are I was asking myself where their daughters and sons are I, I, I would go to church and don't find them as well uh, and then uh, after a, a little while I started doing tax, taxes. And I would find a, a line or lines no, no, lines on the bars and nightclubs. <laughs> and I asked someone uh, that, that I was driving in my, my car in Uber. So like, where, where are these young, young uh, men and women going? <laughs> I'm seeing a line across the, the, the <laughs> house, <laughs> And all of them are young. <laughs> where are they heading <laughs> It was midnight. So they are going to the bar. I said, Oh, they are going even to, they told me they are going they were to the security. They are security. They are security people who, are, who have to make sure they have tickets to the And then I asked, like, When they pay at the gate, uh, the door to get it, like, are they going to pay for, for, for the beer or wine, they say like they are going to pay the gate well, just to pay for the drinks. So I'm a and how sure. can they say they don't have money? They so have to have their money say, over there. But it's spoiled. They are kind of spoiled and they don't want to do anything. We have to do as servant of God. We have to change all those situations. We have to challenge them and tell them to do that. Let us clap for the Lord. Praise be to no God. After you know, you figure out what God has called you for, and you understand it well, you're going to do it very well. And if you do it well, God is going to bless you. Can you clap for the Lord? Another thing, uh, the second thing that I want to, to talk about, you are going to know what you are called for. You know through through what you you hate. If you love to dress up well, and you hate uh, to uh, to see people dressing uh, not well, that means you can open up a boutique for the clothes. Let me repeat this. The things that you hate. You can do them better. That means it's your passion. Let me tell you this. Do you know where the makeup came from? Maybe it's a, a, a woman who had a gang who did have to see uh, uh, ladies looking bad. Uh, he, the, the ladies started to, um, to apply makeup on them because they wanted to be a little bit. He tried to make people look good. Kuwele yari mu yumvaga yanga abantu babi yashaka kugira ngo arebe ko babantu babi yabagira beza. I thought that was a business of makeup. And then the, the lady started a business of makeup. Kandira gugwe and uh, it's hey. really advancing a lot. <laughs> so the money has run out because of makeup. There's a place where you can reach. And you see things that are not going on well. Another person, when, when they get there, they, 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 they won't notice them. Because that's not their passion. If you see things that are not well, and you, see, you think that you can do them well, that means they are yours to, to take. Can you say amen? If you do them well, and you understand them well, that means they are yours. Just do it well. Hallelujah. David, 
I want someone who wasn't going oh, yeah, to, yeah. Uh, for a battlefield. He wasn't going to a battlefield. He was just taking the food to his <laughs> elder brothers. <laughs> when he got there, <laughs> and he found that there were troubles <laughs> over there. A Philistine named Goliath started insulting Israel. And he said, like, Oh, uh, the brothers were saying, oh, he's here. They were just, Oh, when they, uh, they saw Goliath, they were started uh, fleeing. The first thing, they were really scared of him. The second thing, they weren't confident to face him. The third thing, they were seeing that they, that, that was an issue that they cannot solve. The fourth one, they weren't seeing any way to, uh, to face him. Praise be to Jesus. When he got there, he saw an opportunity. Are we together? I said like, oh, now I have a job. Praise be to God. Do you know the first word that David said? The first word that came out of his mouth. Goliath said. Uh, uh, the Bible tells us that when uh, David got there, he got the, the food that he had for his brothers and he gave know, it to the, to the guard know, saying, keep the food for my brothers. Know, so let me go to greet them. Why he was speaking with them, know, he heard someone speaking know, and that person was insulting Israelites know, and he insulted them together with their God. Know, the word that came out of his mouth, know, he asked the soldier who was called closer to him. Nicole, you, hey dear, whoever can kill that person, what is the salary that, that they are going to pay him? He saw the reward why other people were seeing a challenge. Can you say amen? There are people who see uh, troubles and then they flee. And when, while other people, other people see the, the troubles, they see the opportunity. Can you say amen? Let me tell you the secret. American people have a good uh, word that they usually say. They say like the mess of your neighbor is your wealth. Uh, the, the issues or the troubles that are surrounding you, that's your you opportunity to do great Can you things. Can you clap for the Lord? David said, I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask you this question. The person who can eat that, who can kill that Philistine, what, what is the reward? A lot of people do things without having an expectation of what God can do to them. Do something saying that I'm going to serve God doing this. I say, God, I'm going to do this for you. Do this for me as well. The second thing, if you want to get out of the city watching you in, just be like Jacob. Jacob went, and when he reached a place, he told God, he said, this wilderness that I'm in, if you take me out of it, the one thing that I'm going to tell you, God, you are going to be my God. The second thing, I'm going to give you my tithe. Uh, the third thing uh, this place where I am so standing uh, right now uh, I'm going uh, to build a uh, temple uh, and, uh, so that people uh, can know that, you, that you've been good uh, to me uh, that you've been gracious to uh, me uh, you, when you take God to bless you uh, what do you do for him? Uh, the life of God uh, God is not going to ask you without giving you, before he gives to you. Let me repeat this. And, uh, God, uh, God, uh, and God's way, he, does not, he will never ask you something 
before he gives you something if he, he calls you to come and serve him it means he has given you the breath and the, 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 the life so that you can serve him if he asks you for a tithe that means he has given you a hundred he gives you first and then after giving to you and then he asks you a personal question can we clap for the Lord he starts by giving to you and then after giving to you he asks you a passion can you say amen, yes, it was now amen. amen. after David was done let me tell you this and Saul told him you young, young, young man do you think you can fight with that man if you're going to fight with him let me give you the garments of those people who are going to fight and he clothes him after clothing him when David started uh, stepping be, uh, forward and he felt like the, uh, the, the stadium that he was going to fight in it wasn't the issue that we have in this century people want to wear feet that do not belong to them you don't want to take what God has called you for. You want to to okay. Do what God has called you for. And do it well. Can you clap the, uh, the hands for the Lord? Do not put on a, a shoe that is not yours. Put on a shoe that belongs to you. Uh, uh, one, of, one, one person said like please do not tell people that we are born in village so you want me to say that I was born in King Faisal hospital I, I got to Rwanda while I was, uh, I, I, I was born just do good and do good if you like to dance, dance. and if you don't you know, you say that you're crazy say like what you're not stupid just put on your shoe and give it to him stay in your shoe and praise God praise God dance the God that we've heard the God that we've served our Heavenly Father is going to come to descend and be with you we don't like this uh, some, some people say like uh, as we like uh, we were not called like this <laughs> we are not called like this so like if we do this that means like we're doing as, uh, like, as village people do not wear a shoe that do not belong to you God wants something from you just please our heavenly father the one thing that God wants from you is to please him and do what glorifies him and to please him and do what glorifies him so like oh we are people from USA uh, we cannot dance for the Lord because we, we you know we are from USA uh, I am the CEO uh, we, we are well I can't just dance for the Lord uh, my economy like my finances are good these is like, like uh, just cheap people for cheap people or poor people the people who just dance like, the people who did not attend school the, thing, the people that of the people who are not in the or the people who do not have money and no, I cannot do it. Who told you that rich people do not dance? <laughs> Who told you that? Who told you? Who told you that rich people do not dance for the Lord? Uh, the, the, where is the? She she. Come and walk with us and do it. Come and make me. Come and make me. Let me tell you the secret. A man called John the Baptist said, I, John, in Israel, they were calling him the voice of the thunder, the voice that cried out in the wilderness. He was a great man, a son of Zechariah and Elizabeth. He shook Israel. He shook the wilderness. And he said, Let me tell you the the news. If you come, he who is about to come, I am not even worthy to tie the shoes. No one has to be a sword of God, and I have to be a sword of God. Hallelujah.
and the Bible of Lingala it says and uh, the Lingala they say like let me humble myself so God can be risen up uh, as God rise you up God rise you up, go down, go down and uh, put in, put in the, the, the kisirimba. Praise be to God. The, if God exalts you high, if you work in the morning, you look at the account and you see the money and then dance for the Lord. And dance for the Lord. Just put on your shoes, the right ones. No matter the names they are going to call you. What you need is one thing. You need to be with God and stop. That is uh, that is it. One thing that you really need. Joshua told the Israelites. And he told them, if God is pleased with us, God, if only God, the Lord is pleased with us, if the Lord is pleased with us, us only that thing. There's nothing else that we need. We only need one thing for God to be pleased with us. Do we please God? Hallelujah. Do not please the people. Just please God. Can you say amen? All the, uh, the rest of the things, there's no other glory that you need. The pride that you need is to or glorify God. To, go, to glorify God. To do things that please God. Let me wind up on this. There's one thing that I got to understand very well recently. After I got saved. After God really said, in, um, in 2002, I got to understand that the reason why a lot of people have challenges, the reason why they, go, they, don't, they don't go forward, the reason why they don't please God, is the, the thinking, let me call it in this uh, English word, primitive thinking. Primitive um, thinking. 
the, 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 as you see that we have Hutu and Tutsi and we have uh, uh, white and black and we see we, uh, we have the way we have it in our families those are the uh, uh, thinking that are still the primitive that come because uh, for the interest of the devil so the devil can distract us instead of as, uh, as rejoicing for the Lord and the word of God for what? And you start like uh, saying, oh, that person is Hutu, that is Tutsi. Oh, wh why, why do you want that no, for? No, no, no. Let me tell you one secret in life. The person that you share the same understanding, the one that you have the same understanding, that is your brother, that is your sister. Regardless of where they regardless of the age I usually tell people that when we get to heaven, my brother knows Spanish. Maybe you can uh, find that find out that my brother is a Spanish my person. Sister, uh, my sister who's next to me is a Chinese person. Who, who told you that uh, uh, the, bro the brothers that uh, the, the siblings are going to be in the same place? But if you get saved for sure, there is something that we call in Swahili to get saved to be, and to be delivered. To be delivered. And, and, and deliverance. You can be saved, but still bound by the. the you can be uh, saved by being bound by the pride. You can be saved uh, while you're bound by, by greed. You are saved for real but there are things that you haven't been delivered from. I pray that today you know what God has called you for and where he has called you for and you transformed and he has done of the Lord with that who does not work on the emotions with one purpose to glorify God. May God be pleased with that. I ask you my brother Today, know what God has called you for and be transformed and do uh, uh, things that are special. And stand in your position. And stand in your position. And stand in your position. There's a man that I love. And his name is Ezra. Ezra was a priest in Israel. And then the king called the temple in Jerusalem. And Zerubbabel went first. And he said, like, okay, I'm going to go with the second. Church. He was really a smart and he knew the laws. Let me tell you this. He told the king. He said, the, key, the heavenly father that I serve, I don't need uh, the, uh, the army. God is going to fight for me. Let me tell you this. My when he went to the to, to the river called Ahav, they said like all across there, there's the, your enemies are over there, and they make they can kill you, and they can kill you with all the people that you with. And he taught them, we believe that our God is all and we told the king that he was going to it is simple to come to the king and take the king to give us the army and say like the rest of the people the king, the heaven of the father the father that we saw is going to make a way what God has called for pray to God is going to make a way let us clap for the Lord I'm going to tell you two things. The first one is a testimony, uh, and then the second is just a word that I want to share. One thing that is needed, King, King, you have to obey God, and then and love your pastor, you honor him, honor your pastor. Africans, we have a lack of ownership. Learn how to honor. In my church that I lead, 
kuri kalendare ya on my calendar mama agenda ya chiria and my agenda is all like my calendar my books i have a number of people who kwinjira mu rusengero ndi mwabwiriza who can enter in the church while i'm preaching kaba microphone and then i give them my my, my microphone sino bwiriza bahari i cannot prove kuko ndu mwana because i'm a child in front of her abantu ndabuba and i respect those people mura abo ngabo bishop ari mwana among those people a bishop is one of them wige kubaha mu buzima bwa learn to obey in your life nabo kene kuzarangiza neza ubuzima if you want to end well ukene gukomera cyane if you want to be great wige guha ownership abantu learn to honor those who are who are who are ahead of you isto ni tukindu goma gukora that is something that you have to do ijambo rya kabiri the second thing tugahindura imyizerere ya do not change your faith nibyo wizera and why you are you have faith you believe in kubera abantu because of the people because of troubles or because of any interest whatsoever imana yacu our god bibilia yacu tugenda our bible that we, we we go through ni one way it is just one way hadi kanisa nageza mu rira ndakunda cyane there's a church that i went to and i, I got to love it so much muri website yabo on the website baravuga ngo iyo bibiliya ivuze turavuga yacicika tugacicika This, uh, it says when the bible says we do say we, when the bible speaks we do speak and the bible uh, keep uh, keep silent we do keep silent as well i went in a church they said they are going to pay me 2000 us dollars bamperiza scholarship and they gave me the scholarship banyishurira nyuma ya allowance ya mabiri bakambe bihumbi and they pay all the bills uh, they give me all, uh, all the they pay all the bills and then after that they give me 2000 they were giving me 2000 and i said like oh god has really called me this is the real place that i have to be in. I, i say i said to myself i'm the one who was called they were paying for my, my house and then they were going to give me 2000 after paying all the bills including the rent they were paying all the utilities and the rent and then they give me 2000 a 2000 and i said this is the real calling this is the real place and then i told my wife god who brought us here had a purpose in our lives and they say like oh the son of rupande i'm going to build roads i am i have been called say so i've been called here. god has been gracious we went in a conference we were 500 reverend there were no pastor they were all reverent they taught us very well they preached very well they say like oh now it's the break time i went in the bathroom when i came back i went uh, like on break room like i i, I saw a, a man who had um, who was smoking he had a cigarette and then i said like maybe this is not a pass maybe he's bringing food or something he walks at the, at the restaurant or something but i wondered what, i i think i saw him when the conference is this a pastor he was smoking and then when i looked on the other side i saw someone having a cigarette this this long i said like oh Really uh, is are these no, the pastors? No, no, no. And then I said let me go ask him. Now we say we pastor. I asked him are you also a pastor? And he responded to me I have 500 Christian members. And he had two companies. Uku you know made that to get collaborate. And then I said like oh this is my brother my pastor the pastor that we, I'm going to serve with This is is this my my spiritual father And then I like, okay let me just know this I want to talk to the one who had a cigarette Now I say what would you know I asked him were you in this conference as well Now I was going Were you here as well Say yes Oh ugusa nayo aba warasengewe urubusha I asked him like uh, were you ordained are you a pastor Tugusa Dumushumba and then he responded I am a pastor and I have a parish I went I went back home and told my wife Even to need to turi gifaranga za bandi Eat the money Nayo imana ijya yiwacu batwigishije 
we're just going to be it's, we're going to take it we're going to take it we, unless if we, if we accept this as just a job but I did not see the God that I've been taught about one thing that I saw there there is a lot of money but the spirit of God that I know from my hometown we just say goodbye to it I, I, I told my wife we, it's two two things here either we refuse this offer I, you you ladies you love money a lot so you'd want to care more about the money but let us do this let us serve God and reject this offer but let us no, God in the, the and the spirit I I want want to and that I can make you experience your faith. Let it not be a reason that I can make you experience your faith. Love the, for the Lord. I just uh, bid my farewell right there. I said I, I reject the offer. And they started calling me name, insulting me. But I, they urged me to stay. But I said no. And they said no. And they said no. And they said no. And they said no. And one of them told me, have you forgotten that you are a refugee and you are black? And I told them, like, I don't really care. One thing that I want to do, I want to please my God. Well, I'm not here for the money, but I want to please my God. The people who may have a request, prayer request, if you have a prayer request, you want to, stay, to make a step forward, stand up so we can pray. Stand up so we can pray. If you want to step forward in the calling that God has, uh, God has called you to, stand up so we can pray. Keep serving the Lord. Do not change your faith. Do not seek to please Instead, please the Lord. Heavenly Father, we thank you. You are God our salvation. You are strength our peace. You are strength our peace. God, we bring in front of you all these brethren. Give them to know what they want to, to, to serve for you. Give them to step forward and to be and to enter in the power. God bless them. Let them be filled with the Holy Spirit and the power in the 